Hi, this is Aaron for BandLab, and in this video we're going to make a synth pop beat in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description, and if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I begin by setting the project tempo to 122 BPM and the project key to D sharp minor. I'm going to start the composition process with a drum beat. So I create a new virtual instrument track and select drums, drum pads, electro pop kit. I add kicks to every beat. Snares on every other beat. And put hats between each beat. I then duplicate this out for the rest of the 4 bar MIDI clip. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, highlight them, hold the Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, and drag them into the desired position. I then copy the 4 bar clip over and add claps on the final couple of beats to create a mini fill. I'd like to add some extra drum elements, specifically some 909 drum sounds. So I add a new instrument track and select the drums, drum pads, 909 kit instrument. I use this to layer the snare with a clap, and I also add a cymbal crash on the first beat of the first bar. I'd like to create another mini fill, so I duplicate over both MIDI clips and delete the clap fill at the end of the 16 bar sequence on the Electro Pop Kit track. To replace this, I add a tom fill on the 909 Kit track. To balance the tracks and give myself some more headroom, I set the Electro Pop Kit track to negative 6 dB and the 909 kit track to negative 2 dB. So far we've got a solid beat going, but it doesn't have much groove yet. I want some live sounding percussion parts to complement the robotic drum machine beats, so I open up BandLab Sounds and click the Loops tab. I enter Tambourine into the search field and drag 3 Drum Loop Mono Tambourine 114 BPM into the project. I duplicate this out for the full 16 bar sequence and turn the track down to negative 2 dB. I'd also like some cowbell, so I search for cowbell and drag Tom Funk 3 Cowbell into the project. Again, I duplicate this out for the whole sequence and turn it down to negative 6 dB. Now it's time for some tonal elements, and I'm going to start with the bass line. I create a new instrument track and select the basses, synth basses, fancy bass instrument. I program an octave skipping bass line that plays a D sharp, G sharp, and a C sharp with a lift up to the C for the final note. I duplicate this out for the 16 bar sequence and turn it down to negative 4.5 dB. Next, I'd like a synth lead, and for this, I'm going to use the keyboard's synth lead's funky clav. I program a catchy two bar melody and duplicate it out so it plays for a four bar clip. I then duplicate the clip out for 16 bars. This sounds a bit dry, so I decide to add some reverb. I open the effects panel and add the reverb, studio reverb effect. I set the mix to 4, 
and the size to 2.2 to create a subtle natural effect. I turn this track down to negative 8 dB. I'd like to add a touch of extra character to this sound, so I add another instrument track and set it to keyboards, synth leads, Berlin lead. I duplicate the synth lead MIDI over and turn the track down to negative 16.5 dB. This sounds cool, but I'd like to funk it up with a little 80s style vibrato synth. I return to BandLab Sounds, and this time search for Funk Synth. Tom Funk 2 Lead Synth is the sound I'm after, but I only want to use a small part of it, so I create a new sampler track and drag the loop into the first pad. I move the sample start and end markers around the vibrato hit at the start, making sure I've got the start marker nice and tight so the sound plays precisely when triggered. I tune this down to negative one semitones with the pitch control. I sequence this to play at the end of the first four bars. I duplicate the MIDI clip onto the second half of the 16 bar sequence also. This sound has the feel I'm after, but it doesn't sound right yet. I want it to sound brighter, so in the effects panel I add a tone EQ3M effect, turning the high up to plus 11 dB, and turning the mid down slightly to negative 4.4 dB. I want the sound to be louder, so I add a Dynamics BL1176 compressor. I'd also like some chorus on the sound to make it feel livelier, so I add a modulation chorus ensemble effect. Then I add a studio reverb with the same settings as before to round things off. I turn the track down to negative 2.5 dB to balance it. Now I've got a 16 bar section that I feel works well for a chorus, so next I'd like to create a verse. I duplicate the beats and bass line over to the next 16 bars, and switch up the bass line to play D sharp, C sharp, G sharp, F sharp. I'd like a different synth sound to play a melody for the verse, so I create a new instrument track and select Keyboards, Synth Leads, Heavy Lead. And I sequence a 4-bar riff. Again, I want to process the sound to give it the right feel. I start with the tone Graphic EQ, which I use to take the 100Hz band down to negative 6.2 dB. Boost the 1.6 kHz band to plus 2 dB, and boost the 3.2 kHz band to plus 2.4 dB. Next comes a modulation stereo chorus. I then add a delay filter echo, setting the delay time to 257 milliseconds, the feedback to 15%, and the mix to 20%. I then add a studio reverb, again with a mix of 4 and a size of 2.2. I turn this track down to negative 6 dB. I'd like to give it a slightly more aggressive feel, so I create a new instrument track, setting the instruments to keyboards, synth leads, funky clav, and turning the track down to negative 12 dB.
I'd also like a riser effect to help transition between sections. So in BandLab sounds, I search for riser and drag sandstorm riser into the project. I put this at the end of the chorus and turn it down to negative 13 dB. For the arrangement, I begin with the 16 bar beat driven intro. Over the second half of this, I add a simplified version of the bass line. And I use the riser to transition between each section. I use a chorus, verse, chorus, verse arrangement, followed by an 8 bar bridge, where I revert to a simpler version of the bass line from the intro. This is followed by a final chorus and an outro, again with the simplified bass line. And I add a crash after the last bar to give a sense of closure. You can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!